Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Game Bite Show. We are going to jump back in to Hero You Rogue to Redemption. So let's load up. We're on day two. Just finished class. And uh, let's get started. So um, if you recall, last time we got our weapons. So our guy has a dagger. We have a throwing knife. Lockpicks and uh, still our lucky coin and five lira. I'm thinking, do we want to work out a little bit? We can go to the... Oh, no, no, no. Um, let's just uh, go to the lockpicking room. See if we can check this out. And then uh, afterwards, we'll go see if we can kill some rats for some money. All right, so we're in. Oh, cool. Um, whole bunch of lockers. A bunch of locks. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's examine the lock. It's a lock. That much I can tell. Let's see if we can pick it. Darn, no good. Still locked. So it's uh, 215. I wonder if... If the different locks are different. Or er, Still locked? Why do they make picking locks so hard to do? Like, are these different anyway? Like, this is kind of a simple looking lock. Tool use increased. Oh, that's nice. Even failures resulting in uh, improvement. Maybe this one? It's kind of like off to the side here. If practice makes perfect, why can't I open this dumb thing? The good news is it doesn't take too long. Puddle. Look at the puddle. Either someone dumped this here or the castle has a drainage problem. I think it's probably the latter. Uh, no, I'm not going to drink from it. Locker 24. Okay. I bet you're supposed to do these in order. Is this one? Locker one. So let's practice for an hour. Easy, easy there. Cool. All right. So it's 332. So did we succeed on that? It sure sounded like it. Locker two. Just a little touch and a gentle twist. Like, do these open now? Hmm. All right. So it's 4.30. Uh, let's go up to... No, not Master Von Urwald. Let's go up and kill some rats before dinner time. At least I get my exercise this way. Man, he complains a lot about those stairs, doesn't he? Okay, so... Oh, Turk, you there. Connor, what are you doing wandering around the halls? You should be in class. Good afternoon, Mr. Turk. The disbarred bards class is over for the day, and I wanted to make sure I know my way around the school. I wouldn't want to get lost on my way to school events, after all. Hmph, <laughs> the class is out already. Then you, you are most likely expected to study your lessons in the afternoon rather than dilly-dallying around the school. Because you're new here, I will overlook your slacking off today. The dining room is further down this hall and will be open at 6 for supper. Uh, oh, I'll see you later, sir. I want to see you as little as possible, Connor. Stay out of trouble and away from me. Curfew is at 10 p.m. If I catch you walking around the halls after that, you will receive demerits. We sh shall see how quickly you earn 100 demerits so that I can say farewell to you for good. So did that earn a demerit? No. Our tool use has increased a bit. It's still kind of low, though, huh?
So there's the dining hall. So I'm not sure if we're supposed to... I mean, like, we didn't get in trouble. We didn't get in a demerit. Young Master Returns, so glad is Gregor to see you again. That's the early dinner bell. It's about time to go to the dining hall. Oh, we got an hour. How long does hunting rats take? Open the door. The door is locked. I am sorry, young master, but the door to wine cellar is always locked during the day. School rules after supper time. Okay, so... Got it. Well, we learned something. So we are supposed to, I suspect, stay downstairs doing training and whatnot until 6. And then between 6 and uh, 10 is when we can do things for money. Read the menu. Uh, Caribbean Islander cuisine today. It has jerk chicken, callaloo, and okra. That sounds different. Gosh. After all, even the best played hands of Weiss and Ben oft blow away. Wow. Is that supposed to be funny? Well, it's really funny to a bridge player. <laughs> Here, we play poobah rather than bridge. You do? When? Where? In the rec room, there is a game table. Where we play. We don't play very often, usually just after an exam or before a holiday. We spend many evenings in rec room. At least some of us do. Sounds like I should spend some time in the rec room then. This is not a place for dilly-dallying. People clean up your mess and get on with your business elsewhere. All right. 7 p.m. Gosh, two-hour dinner. It is evening, and the lonely hours have ended now that Master Sean is here. Let's go kill the rats. Before young Master enters into danger, Gregor wishes to make sure that Master Sean is prepared for danger. I do hope that you have some sort of weapon. Yep, show him our weapon. I am fully prepared. Please be careful. There are many dangers. Oh, and if you see a door marked very dangerous, please do not open the door. Just stay where it is only a little bit dangerous. Why? What's behind the door? Gregor is uncertain how to answer Master Sean. Gregor only knows that something very large and very scary moves behind the door. Don't worry. I know how to take care of myself. Who knows what evils lurk in the heart of the cellar? The ratty knows. <laughs> this place smells musty and sharp like the smell of vinegar. I guess most of the wine here must have spoiled. There are all sorts of creepy scuttling noises that I can barely hear. I hope they're just rats. So, like, do we do anything with these? Knock on the barrel. Wine, wine, come out wherever you are rodents and they've all and they've drunk all the wine that should have rightfully been mine they've probably done the same with all these barrels i'm not actually sure what we're doing down here uh so let's just oh there's a bad guy a dire rat okay um Let's throw our throwing knife at him. Oh. We hit him. For pretty good damage, too. Oh, we got him. Acquired dead rat. Gregor seems to want me to hunt these dreaded diet rats. I'll hold on to this one as proof. on this table. Uh, look at the table. Lots of wine stains. Looks like good times were had here long ago. Move it. Okay. Uh, look at the nest. Look at all these bones. Rodent bones mostly, but not entirely. Of course, the drat that sleeps here wouldn't have killed them all at once. He would have done it in dribs and dribs. Oh no. Pick 
through the nest. Supposedly, pawing through droppings can make you sick, but these are pretty old and dry. I think it would make me wretch either way, though. All right. Fair enough. So, hold on a second. Did we get... We did get our throwing knife back. Okay. Nice! Another six damage. Okay. Nice. Look at that little flourish. All right. Uh, dead drat. All right. Well, we've killed a few. It's uh, only been a few minutes, to be honest, which is kind of good. So I don't know, like, uh, the heads are wedged to size, can be getting them out require special tools, I don't have any. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, let's go see what we get for these dead drats. They should have a set of these stairs in the practice room. I'm getting enough exercise on them. Welcome, you made it back. How wonderful. Did you bring Gregor any drats? I sure did. Sell loot. I found these in the dungeon. Very good work. Master Sean, please come back. If you find any more drats or approaches in the dungeon, I'm happy to buy them from you. Okay, so we got f two each. It's not very much. Let's leave the room. Maybe we can go help um, in the kitchen, make some more money. Is that from like the Princess Bride? Kind of looks like it. Talk to Ifetaya. Uh, Ikabo, Mr. Sean Sean, do you come seeking work? There's plenty of work for you here. I came to work. I'm here to work for you. Hard work. Uh, rewards itself, maybe not with money, but with satisfaction. Good for you. But can it also reward me with money? Oh no, not again. Alright. Some jamming uh, music there. Uh, oh, oh, oh no, guys. Maria Nigba me, Mr. Sean Sean. I will see you later. Bye now, says the cat guy. Eight thirty-one. We still got some time. Uh, let's see what's out here in this courtyard. Have we been out here? Oh, it's very nice. Uh, no. Let's just look at it. It's a sweet little pond. I'd dive right in if it weren't only a few inches deep. Some some serious bag end vibes going here. Relax. Ah, this lovely place. Sit past time. What a beautiful courtyard. Search. There's a trap door here. Look at the trap door. Tisk tisk. Now why would anyone put this here if they didn't want it hooked in? Open the trap door. Oof, well that's no good. I think it's locked from the other side. Hmm. Attack the gazebo? I don't think so. That's just silly. To the library. Oh man. Open the door. Wow, I didn't know there were this many books in the whole world. Oh my gosh, they're actually, like, cataloged? Oh dear. Let's talk to the librarian. Uh, chat with the librarian. Hi, I'm Sean O'Connor. I'm in the Disbarred Bards class. Q1. Um, what? The Disbarred Bards section is Q1. Oh, thanks. I was just trying to introduce myself. Very well. You have successfully introduced yourself. So what do I call you? 
I am the librarian. <laughs> that will suffice. Um, ask about the librarian. So, how are you? How am I? What? Um, so, how are you feeling? How's your day going? Is there some logical motivation for your inquiries? Or are you just wasting my time? Uh, say something clever. I was just trying to chat with you, since I'm new here. It's useful for me to find out who's who and what's what. I do not chat. Ask about the library. This place is impressive. I've never seen so many books. How do you keep track of them all? Books do not leave the library. We are permitted to study or do research in the library until curfew. The books return to their proper places each night. Are the books ma all magical? There are no magical books accessible here. The bookshelves have been enchanted to keep books properly organized. Good evening. Uh, so Q1, I mean... It's really... I don't Do we think there's enough time? 904? I don't want to get caught. Oh, that's odd. It feels really, really cold in this area. The cold is death sort of cold. Do not disturb the painting. Why not? I was just looking at it. It is not to be disturbed. Okay. Examine the bookshelf. This section holds the books about making buildings and structures. This seems odd to me. How complicated can it be? You put up some wood or some bricks or stone, slap on a roof, and you're done. Thomas? Ask about Thomas. So what do you think of this school? I really don't know what to think about this hero university yet. I thought we'd learn all about heroes and noble deeds. I mean, this castle was supposed to be a bastion of heroism against the forces of chaos and evil. But here I am in the disbarred bards class, learning skills of which no self-respecting paladin would approve. Nothing is as I expected it to be before I came here. Not even the castle. This is a library. Keep your conversations restic restricted to your studies. Whispered, sorry, sir. Ask about the library. What do you think of this library? I didn't know there was this many books ever written. Isn't it wonderful? You can learn almost anything here. It's the best part of the whole place. I can spend all my evenings studying. Ask about books. Read any good books here? I would not exactly call them good, but there is a section upstairs devoted to the sort of skills we need for the disbarred bards. Okay, upstairs. That's good to know. I will probably try to read most of them. What? This library has books on thief skills? Rogue skills? Not thief skills. Uh, say something snarky. Oh, he didn't like it. <laughs> Rogue skills are just thief skills dressed up in hero's clothing. The disbarred bards class is just a big scam. We're just pretend heroes doing thiefy things. So where do I find these rogue skills books? The rogue skills section is upstairs. Just go past the dog painting and around the corner. It's the last section nearest the librarian's desk. Goodbye, goodbye, good evening. 925. I don't think we're going to have time because, like you said, um... We have to, uh, oh, Q1. Oh my gosh, did I just hear a dog whining? Must have imagined it. Examine the bookshelf. Heh, this section is labeled Disbarred Bards. I guess no one wants to admit that there might be rogues here at the school. Study the books. Uh, study Beginner's Lock, a guide to picking locks. Well, that's straightforward enough. I think that was the name of the book we we're supposed to read for class. There's something odd about the cover of this book. It's thicker than a normal book. It looks like it can be opened up if I pull this corner. What do you know? There's a set of wooden lockpicks stuck in the cover. I'll just remove them for safekeeping. It's getting close to curfew. I'd hate to have Turk interrupting my nap or studies. I'll have to study another time. Yeah, okay. We'll have to do this... Uh, You know, tomorrow or something. All right. Um, not really time to do anything else. We'll head back. Uh, open the door.
Search the plant. <laughs> well, that took no time at all. Perfect. All right. Look at that dog, man. Have I? I think I've commented on this before. Evening, Rumi. There's a letter someone left on your bed for you. Weird. Letter from mom. Hey, this is a letter from my mama. How did she know I was here? My dear Ling Sean, tis so very happy I am to hear that you are at the Hero University. I can't tell you how proud it makes me feel to know that you have a chance at a bright future. Take care of yourself there at the school. Be sure to make some new friends. Don't forget to study hard so that you can get good grades and a good job when you graduate. Your dad would be so proud of you too. Your loving mother, Nora, maybe? Nora. Yeah, he just read what was in the text. Well, maybe I should at least try to take this school seriously. It would make Mama happy. Open the wardrobe. Uh, nobody refilled the daggers. That's funny. Study your lessons. Study your class notes. Let's see if I can read my own handwriting and actually learn something. Smarts. I'm not sure, you know, so let's look at this again. Fitness is 28. Moxie. I wonder how we increase Moxie. Smarts is up. Magic is way down. This throwing is actually pretty good here. Combat, climbing, all of these are pretty decent. Um, charm is kind of low. Gaming. So I don't know if we should be trying to increase all of these or really focus, uh, min-maxing, if you will, but really focusing on certain skills. Let's see. Uh, Thomas wasn't too... Oh, Gregor likes us, though. Uh, it looks like we're improving with uh, Ifetia. Aeolus. Maybe we can talk to him a little bit. What's the deal with the wooden lock picks, you know? Examine the wooden lock picks. These will do for a bit, but they're not ideal. They can't take the kind of twisting and jiggling that metal lock picks can. The ends get all mushy and smooth after a while. They're made of some kind of very springy metal. They can take a lot of abuse, but I've broken more than my share of them. In some countries, it's illegal just to have these. Let's pick our teeth with the wooden lock picks. That only works if you have wooden teeth. Really? I don't think that's true. All right. Uh, let's talk to uh, Aeolus here. Talk to Aeolus. Greet Aeolus. How's it going? I'm working on a song for my vocal performance class. Play us a tune. You're the panpipe guy. Play us a tune this day because we're all very fond of your panpipe song and your music just blows us away. What do you think? Answer politely. It's amusing. Thanks. Now I have to work on the verses. Ask about the letter. How did the letter get here? I guess the staff must have left it. It was there when I came in. I've never gotten mail from my family, so I don't know. Get to know Aeolus. So how did you find out about this school? My father is a scribe for the Prince of Sardonia. He was in charge of writing the writ to permit the Hero University to open here. When father saw that the university had a school for bards, he thought it was a great idea to send me away to the far side of Sardonia. He got me out of the house. Here I get to study under Maestro Lorenzo, learn music, play instruments, and make friends. It's great. So what about you? What brought you here? Let's just say that someone made me an offer that I couldn't refuse. <laughs> Let's see if he'll clean the room. Be polite. It would be nice if you could clean up the piles of junk in this room so that I can move around without tripping over things. But if I put everything away, I'd never find anything. All right, see you in the morning. I'll be sure to advise you to rise and wine come to the come the time to get up for sup. Can't pass your class if you sleep too deep. It's 11 o'clock. 
Um, did that make him like us more? I feel like it didn't. To do, learn to play Poobah. I wonder if this is in the library, maybe. Learn to pick locks. If there's ever a skill I need to know, this is the one. Get cleaned up. Katie says I need to get cleaned up. She may have a point. Does that mean clothes? It's in the nightstand. Hmm. Study your lessons. I've already looked over my class notes today. I think I'll leave this. Oh, okay. Done. Is there anything else? I don't think so. Just piles of clothes. All right, uh, go to sleep. <laughs> As I was saying, a rogue uses a variety of different methods and techniques in his actions. The classic skill common to both rogues and thieves is stealth. Unlike the common thief, who considers that stealth means to tiptoe around everywhere hunched over like a gargoyle, Rogues learn a different method of sneaking that relies more upon his intelligence and perception than upon his agility. This is called, oh, oh wow, the way of the Kuchenshaka Shaba. I don't know. Heh. Did you find something amusing in what I said, Herr Kent? Sprechen Sie Germanisch? Germanisch? Ein bisschen, Meister. Then perhaps you will explain the meaning to those in our class who do not share your superior education. What does way of the Kushin Shaba translate to in common? The way of the cockroach, sir. Indeed, the lowly cockroach is our model for stealth. He does not move slowly around a room, hoping that nothing notices his movement and squashes him. The cockroach first stops to look around and assess any potential danger. He listens for threats. He looks for shadows or places to conceal himself. Only then does he scuttle to his next hiding place. Put this lesson into practice. Whenever you have need of stealth, first observe your environment. Listen for potential danger. When appropriate, move directly to a place of concealment. Any questions? Uh, do they mean like clever, like smart? Uh, see, I, let's ask a clever question. So the way of the cockroach is really a cells pitch? We need to stop, examine, listen, look, and sneak before we go by. That is a reasonable interpretation. Yes. The way of the Kushin Shaba may one day save your life. Pause and observe before you react. Entlassen. Let's see what... Yoel has for sale. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Connor. Perhaps, perhaps I might interest you in a few choice tools or useful information. Browse the shop. Better dagger, chalk. How much is a chalk? Five. Hmm. See you later. Uh, done. So, let's go... I guess work out some. Open the door. Oh, uh, Cesar Sosi, you should pull your arm back further before you lunge, Kate. I'll be happy to help you improve your thrust. My name is Katie, Cesari. I may be used to swinging with a cutlass rather than stabbing with a dagger, but I'm getting the hang of this. I think that Kate is a fine name for you, my bonnie Kate. You are a lovely lady. Oh, she's not happy with that. She's about to shank him. Of course, it is impossible to tell which of you two women is more beautiful. You are both enchanting. Ah, see. She, she bought into it. Um, if I get too close, someone might skewer me. I'd better stay back. All right, fair enough. Let's see. What are my skills here? Uh, charm is up a little bit. Stealth? How do we practice stealth, do you think? Fitness, smarts, defense, hmm. combat, and climbing. 
Let's do the tightrope. Uh, <laughs> let's steal the tightrope. Walk the tightrope. So we got climbing and agility, which is pretty good. Oh, right in the sand. Wow, I definitely need more practice. Fair enough. Three to five. Don't take too long. Let's do it again. Walk the tightrope. I like to live a balanced life. Oh, okay, okay. So that you can't do one thing over and over. What's on the bulletin board? Oh, the six rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, we read this. I, I, I bet it's all the same. Okay. Let's practice climbing, I suppose. Climbing, okay. And up we go, and down we go, and up we go, and down we go. Can I do the rope? Climb the rope. Okay, no. Too much climbing. What time is it? 4.07? Dinner bell will ring soon. Oh, sneak past it. Attack the monster target. Oh, that's how you increase defense. That is unfair. It looks a lot more terrible than I am. That's the early dinner bell. It's about time to go to the dining hall. Practice with the daggers. Oh, that's just really bad, isn't it? It was all right. That stuck into the stone. Harder than it looks. Throwing increase. Oh. Uh-oh. Did I take too long? Oh, no. The other has claws at the end of its paws. Right. I don't get it. So, to change the subject, has Wayne figured out how to use the lockpick we said we're supposed to have for class? The Handbook Beginner's Guide for Lockpicks is quite useful. I know how to pick simple locks, but I do not have a book. Is it good? I found the book very useful. There's a copy of it in the library if you'd like to look at it. Ah, that is good. I do not have money to waste. You could always get a job working for Chef Kina. No, thank you. I am not that desperate for money. Ooh, dinner time's over. Everyone clean up your areas and move on. So I think we will go back to the library. Oh, wait, we're supposed to try to, like, look presentable? Let's go see... Um, Oh, there's a sneaking now. Hmm. Open the door. Let's go see how much it costs to get, like, a new shirt. Uh, shop at the school store. 20 lira. 20. Okay, so... 55 lira. There's the book. What's the point of... Like, so I wonder on this, you know what I mean? Like, I can go read it in the library. Let's pick it up. Oh, and then the tie as well. Oh, man. I'm not going to buy the uniform. Good hunting. All right. Let's see what we can do down here. Maybe we can sneak. I wonder if this will increase our uh, sneak skill. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've like already killed this guy. Oh, no, there's a diorite. Get him. Ooh, got him. Now, here he comes. We got this. Yes. Another drat. Two gold. Okay, let's keep sneaking. Yeah, there's a stealth going. Going wild. Stealth up to 12. Stealth is really low. We should really work on it. Man, defense. 
increased really well. Throwing's up 24. Oh, thank heaven. 7-Eleven. All right, let's go back towards that first door. Um, like, I know this increases our skill. Oh, you can zoom out and zoom in. No way. <laughs> I just, I'm just now realizing this. Um, I'm going to guess they get harder as you go, right? That's typical. Uh, no, he cannot. Well, all right. Let's go sell this drat and go work in the kitchen, I guess. We'll have to check the... Uh... Yeah, too. Mm -hmm. We'll have to check the other... Uh... Rooms, doors, another time. Yep, up the stairs, yada yada. To the dining hall. Oh, you know what? Let's not go make money. Let's go read that book. Oh, we have our own version of the book. Can I just read it here? Read. The Beginner's Guide to Lockpicks. Hmm, this is pretty complex stuff for a beginner's book. I'll need to study at my desk sometime. Okay, so let's see if we can find a different book to study upstairs. Since we have time. Hmm, can a painting talk or bark or whine? We'll deal with that later. Uh, study the books. Yes. Study hide and go seek. Let's see. What have we here? Time to hit the books. <laughs> you will do no such thing. Some of those books are very fragile, and I expect you to treat them with care. Look at his, like, the dismay on his face. Time to, uh, gently pat the books. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Hiding is as important as being quiet to the art of stealth. 35. Still got time. Smart. Uh, there's a lot to learn about being a su successful disbarred bard. Time to get back. <laughs> So I'm wondering if each day there's a specific book we can read to gain a skill, and then otherwise you're just gaining smarts. Seems kind of typical. Or possible, I guess. All right, we're gonna run our way back to our dorm room. Let's see what's going on here. Read our lock picking book. Uh oh. He's going for a knife. Have you met Sophia? She's so amazing and she spoke to me today. She's the woman of my dreams. Hmm. Desk. Study your lesson. Study the beginner's guide to lock picks book. Let's see how easy it is to pick a lock. Smart. Lock pick? Nope. Study your lesson. Study your class notes. Let's see if I can read my own handwriting. Okay. What about... Okay, so we've already, we've already done it. Because it's like there's no... Yeah. Well, let's talk to Aeolus. Give A-list a gift. 
Talk to Aelis. He's not going to want that. Uh, ask about Sophia. Who is this a woman of your dreams? Sophia Miranda is the school receptionist. <laughs> I was going outside to practice my bongos on the beach when I saw her sitting in her desk like a Venus resting on her half shell, except for the short hair and glasses part. I stood in awe of her beauty and she spoke to me. She said, are you going out, coming in, or just going to stand like a statue there for a whole day? She's clever as well as cute. Sean, you got to help me. Please speak to Sophia and tell her that I'm a nice guy who is funny and witty and who would love to take her dancing sometime on a date. Will you please speak to her for me? I mean... Uh, one in three are kind of the options. Um, tell Aelis. Look, Aelis, you need to speak to Sophia yourself. I know I do, but I can't. One look at her, my brain turns into a jellyfish. I start jabbering away like a chimpanzee spouting nonsense before I know what I'm saying. So you're afraid you're going to make a monkey of yourself. She probably thinks I'm appalling. What's new? Sounds like you're in a good mood today. Today I saw an angel with hair like freshly pickled mulberries and lips like marinara sauce. Oh dear. I'm writing a song about her. You ought to see Sophia. She is so sweet to me. Ah! I'd sit on her veranda if, if I could have Miranda. Oh, how happy I would be if I could kiss Sophia. What? Uh, sure. Sophia will probably be very flattered that you wrote it for her. Yes. Ask humorously. If there was any more junk on the floor in this room, I'd open a secondhand store. Oh, Moxie increased. That's your pure, pure view on the ragtag blues, or am I just secondhand news? I'll get around to paying my dues, say, next Tuesday. <laughs> okay. Maybe there's some clothes in here magically. No. <laughs> All right, guys. Whoa, slept late, gotta go. And that's where we will pick it up in the next episode here of Hero You, Rogue to Redemption. Thanks for watching along. Check out our audio podcast at GameBiteShow.com. Find us on Twitter at GameBiteShow and join in the Discord. And we'll see you next time.